Hey guys, what's up? JWisp here, and welcome to episode 4 of the Minecraft Skyblock Let's Play. Of course, right when I start my islands on fire, it's literally catching grass on fire. I don't know, okay, I don't know what's up with this lava. I'll, I'll move this in a second, but it, we should be okay. Nothing in here that burns, we can't get more of. We have enough saplings, we have enough of everything. We'll be okay. But anyways, in the last episode, we made this very cool tiered passive or sorry i mean aggressive mob farm it works very well um i afk'd um a few you know a few minutes worth of mobs and we got a decent amount of drops definitely worth it i think it's really cool you should check it out it's a great way to get items on skyblock but like i promised in the last episode we did an aggressive mob spawner but today we have to do a passive mob spawner but for that we're gonna need lots of grass but since we can't get grass, we're going to need lots of dirt. And I showed you guys previously that you can actually get dirt in this sky block. Oh my god, what is with this? Look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let's let, let's get, let's get rid of our lava temporarily. This is insane. Um I thought I had another bucket. I don't know. I'll I'll you know what? Let's let's just like throw it off the side of the island for now. I'm going to need this bucket later, so it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, we have to make a passive mob grinder, but to get dirt in Skyblock, you can actually just use a composter. So my composter here is pretty much full. I've been using a lot of cocoa beans. These grow really fast. And as you can see, when you fill up the composter, not only do you get bone meal like usually, but you also get dirt, which I think is insane. It's amazing. And what's great about using cocoa beans is literally I harvested these maybe a few minutes ago and the majority of them are already grown fully adult. Give me tons of seeds per harvest. I know I shouldn't really be harvesting all of them, only the matured ones, but it works like crazy. So what I'm going to do to get lots of grass and dirt, and I recommend you guys do the same, is I'm going to go a few blocks away from my island and pretty much just build a giant platform dedicated to a bunch of these jungle wood stumps growing cocoa beans so when you go to cut down the jungle tree to get wood for this you need to be careful do not cut down this tree or at least don't cut down all of it if you've already cut down the tree at the swamp biome the reason for that is because these are the only two trees with vines and though vines aren't super necessary or important for skyblock these are still your only two beginning sources of vines, so if you cut down both the trees without having a way to collect the vines, then you're kind of screwed. Now there's two ways you can do this. Either we already have that mob farm so you can get a villager, trade with it for some shears or silk touch and get it that way, or simply kill a bunch of zombies, hope you get some iron and make some shears. But eventually, you will get shears to be able to collect this. Now, I will cut down this entire jungle tree simply because with the swamp tree i'm gonna save that for a while i don't need the oak wood but it'll be nice to have the jungle wood so what i'm gonna do is kind of cut up this in a sort of staircase way so i can get all the way up get all the way down easily if some blocks fall it's okay i'm not too concerned simply because you know jungle trees give you a lot of wood so as long as i get Powering one off. sapling from this i should be able to get a pretty decent amount of wood in the future two thousand years later Alright, so it's a little while later and I've created this. I actually did a ton of cobblestone mining uh, and tree mining that I went through an entire axe and like a few stone pickaxes. But I made this really, not, not cool looking platform, but you know, it's functional. I only really have cobblestone. I could have smelted it to make it look better, but that would have taken a lot of time. That's a project for another day. But I pretty much just created this tiny little platform with three high stumps of jungle wood. And then all around them, except for the middle here for a little pathway, I have placed these cocoa beans. And what I'm eventually going to do is I'll go through a few harvests of these, enough to get me probably at least a few stacks of dirt. Now, in my experience, it, it definitely takes, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20 cocoa beans to fully fill up this composter and give me a piece of dirt. And luckily, when you harvest one, you get, you know, a few seeds. You don't just get one. Um, but hopefully, after a few harvests, I should have enough. So I'm going to let this run a little bit. I'm going to mostly AFK when I notice most of them are matured. I'll harvest them, and I'll keep doing that for a little bit. And I'll be back with you guys once I've accomplished that. All right, so here we go. I've gone through a few harvests already, and here's what I have. It's given me lots of dirt, but also lots of bone meal, which is definitely nice. And I also... Have, oh, looks like I got one of the achievements, Dirt Collector. 
Heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if I head back to my chest now, I also have some dirt in there. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to show you guys how to make this passive mob farm. Alright, so now for this passive mob farm, you need grass because these passive mobs will only spawn on grass. And the issue is, we don't have grass, we only have dirt. So you need to build a simple staircase or platform from a grass source block to be able to make a passive mob farm. Now, if you don't have any grass on your main island, you can go to any one of the islands around you, which the majority of them do have grass, so hopefully you didn't destroy all of them. If you don't have any grass, though, you're kind of screwed, and I recommend just starting over or whatever. But something interesting is actually you can go to a lower Y level, and mob spawns will be increased. And something you have to consider when making this farm is not only the Y level, but also what biome you want. For example, you know, things like cows, pigs, and chickens spawn in any biome, but each of these islands actually does have the specific biome in the surrounding chunks. For example, if you want a panda, build it around the jungle biome, which isn't much of a jungle biome anymore, but that's what it is. Plains biomes obviously have their own thing. There's the mushroom biome. You can get mushrooms over there. Uh, we have the desert over there obviously so there's tons of different things just depending on what mobs you want there actually is the birch forest biome with bees in it over there which i think is really cool so if you want some of that <laughs> i think that's awesome um but i'm just gonna do general mobs for now so i'm gonna build it based off of this platform and i am gonna go a little bit deeper i'll try to make it somewhat level with that farm just to make all of our islands level but what you can do if you want to be a real tryhard for lots of mob spawns is build it really really low almost to y equals zero and you'll get the most mob spawns but you also have to remember if you build your actual spawning platform at y zero you cannot make this an automatic passive mob farm now i'm going to show you in this tutorial first how to just make a spawning platform for the actual mobs but if you want leave some room other under the spawning platform so that you can make water flow on top of it pushing the mobs off automatically killing them get you tons of free food and stuff like that so pretty much how this process is going to work is i just made a little entrance from this grass block here and then like this i'm going to start placing cobblestone building a staircase going downwards now make sure again you start this from a grass block now i could make this staircase out of dirt because that's what i have a lot of but i want to make this as efficient as possible since i don't have a ton Ooh, we gotta be careful, gotta catch the water. Thankfully, in this skyblock map, water flows down uh, pretty fast, so you can catch it. But I'm doing this, and the reason for this is once we get low enough, I can simply pick up the bucket, and then on top of this cobblestone, start placing dirt. Now, the reason you need this little staircase if you're going to a lower Y level is because the grass needs something to spread. So it will take a while to spread down to your platform. Um, if you really want, you could honestly just build a giant dirt platform out in the open out of nowhere, have the grass flow to it, build it, you know, a straight shot. But that's not fun. That's not exciting. It's harder to make it into an automatic farm. And also spawns, spawns aren't as good. So I'm going to go down a decent amount. I don't actually think I'm going to go level with that farm. I don't care. But I am going to go down a decent amount and I'll be back with you guys once I'm there. Alright, so I decided to build my staircase sorry, down to Y equals 40. Oh, looks like I messed up a little bit here. Hold up. <laughs> Let me try to fix this really fast. Um, There we go. That'll work. I'll just keep placing on top of here. Um, and something that's a little bit annoying about this whole project is that you need torches. You need to light up this area. It's going to be dark. And I know torches are a pain in the butt uh, with Skyblock, but trust me, it'll be worth it in the end. You'll ultimately be glad you want it. But make sure when you're placing your torches on this staircase that you place them on this side of the block so that the grass can still spawn. If you place it directly on top like that, the grass will not spread. But just keep placing it like this. Over time, the grass will eventually spread. It will take a while to spread from here all the way down from there. If you're really worried and really, you know, can't be bothered, um, you can go open a land world, uh, turn on cheats, and set your game rule um, for random tick speed and set the random tick speed to 1000. It'll make all little growing plants and everything like that grow super fast and your grass should spread in like under a minute and you'll be okay. But I'd rather just wait for it. I like the feeling of actually accomplishing something and doing it legit. But here we have the staircase, so let me show you what to do next. 
All right, so we ultimately want to be able to turn this passive mob farm into an automatic passive mob farm, which is why we're going to make this platform a specific design that allows it to be a big enough platform for passive mobs to spawn on, but also make it sh so we can drop water from above, causing the passive mobs to fall off onto a platform below them, automatically killing them. So first, let's start by building out here on the side. I want to be very careful not to fall, not to die. We have to be careful because there's not a lot of water below us. Just keep building out until we have one more block of water like that. Believe that. Leave it that little overhang. And we're going to do that for a reason. This platform won't be big enough by itself, so we're going to build this first level to the platform, and then we're going to build a second level to it. So, uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, wait, no. Okay, I think I saved myself. Okay, I don't think I'm dead. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be a mess. Okay, I uh, fixed our little mishap, but here we have this. And what you're gonna want is this shape with one block of water overhang on each side. This is gonna be important because there's gonna be a second level to this platform. So after you've done that, though, what you want to do is pretty much just fill in this little middle part. Uh, keep doing this just like this with, again, one block overhang on all sides. So eventually, there we have that. We have that side filled in. Fill in this side as well. Do, do, do. Oh, I messed up really fast. You have to make sure you don't place blocks too fast. You have to allow the water to do its little overhang first. So hold on, let me grab that. Hopefully I didn't screw it up permanently. If you do accidentally screw up, just pick up the water really fast and then wait a few seconds before putting it down. Make sure the water falls into the void or else it'll look kind of ugly at the bottom. But there we go, we have that shape. And then we're also going to, to create this on the other side using this as the center point for this entire thing. Okay, so after that, your finished product should look like this with this platform all the way around. I also broke a little bit of the cobblestone just to uh, give myself some clearance. You can leave it or break all of it if you want. We don't really need it. And I also did a quick check. And if we head all the way, way back up here to the top, we can see that so far... The grass has spread like two blocks, which isn't a lot. You might definitely have to go AFK for possibly a few hours to get the grass to spread all the way down here. But in the end, it's worth it because you'll finally have passive mobs. But anyways, if I place the water, we'll see we have this little thing going on. And hopefully it makes sense when I speak about the water overhang. I just mean it has one block over into the void you know if i place this block here you know the water doesn't go past it it just ends at the edge of the block but instead it has this overhang but what we're going to do from here is actually create another platform under this using this same kind of looking at the overhang method so if i place one cobblestone block there just to start let's place one there i'll place the water right there and pretty much we're going to go around this entire platform again be very careful but placing dirt, eventually pretty much replicating this ex same pla exact platform, except under this one. Just keep doing this, you know, go around the circle with dirt, keep going around until you have the whole thing completed, and eventually extend it outward so many blocks until the water also has a one block overhang. Alright, so I'm working on the second floor platform. I actually needed a lot more dirt, so I've been doing a lot more farming. But I forgot to mention something. On the second platform, you actually don't want the one block overhang. You want the water to go to the very edge. This is so if we do use a water to kill all the passive mobs, the passive mobs will go to the end and eventually get pushed off and die from fall damage. If we allow the one block overhang like this, the mobs can just peacefully swim down. But we do not want that. We want them to be pushed off. So again, make sure you build the second platform up until the very limit of the water. Alright, so here we go. I have the final finished dirt platform, and if we place the water right in the center, we'll see what I was talking about. On the first little level, we have this little overhang. The water does flow over, but on the second one, it does not. Now, we as the players can be fine on this little edge here, but mobs will get pushed off. And so all you need to do to transform this into a normal mob spawner, into a mob grinder, automatic killer, whatever you want to call it, whatever fancy terminology 
is simply go down at least 23, 24 ish blocks. You could go all the way down to the limit if you want to. Y equals 0.5 is the lowest you can build if you use cobblestone slabs. But you pretty much just go at least like 25 blocks down and build a giant cobblestone platform or platform of anything. Uh, underneath this obviously extend it a few blocks out from this platform make it in whatever shape you want as long as it encompasses this entire thing and the mobs will be pushed down onto there and eventually die but what we need to do now is first off I'm not gonna do that because I want to breed some mobs in the beginning I want to do some stuff with them uh, I want to get some food I want to get some farms going but what we need to do is pretty much just wait for this grass to spread down. Let's see if it's made any more progress in the last 10-15 minutes I've been working on it. Probably not. Yeah, this is probably going to take me AFKing for a few hours. So we'll see what happens. But oh, and there's on to the next thing I was going to talk about. Uh, make sure you light up this area. Now again, I was saying earlier, I know torches are a pain. It's super annoying to get in Skyblock. But what I would recommend you do is just, you know, every few blocks or so just go up a few blocks place a little cobblestone in the air place some torches around it um the guy who created this farm dr trog who also created the map recommends getting a texture pack that actually shows specific different light levels which i, I mean hey if you really want to go all out and do that that's all right but i'm not too concerned i'm just going to every so often place these little pillars of cobblestone where I'll place torches on all sides and this will ultimately give it enough light. First off you need light for the passive mobs to actually spawn um, but you also need light just so the grass spreads. So uh, light <laughs> has dual purpose here but if you place this on the outside and then probably another pillar in the middle I feel like this should pretty much be enough light. Again if the light level's 8 that's way too dark but as long as it's lit up for the most part you should be okay. Um, but anyways, I guess here on out, it's just a lot of AFK and waiting for this grass to spawn. Alright, so I've been doing a lot of farming around here, killing a lot of mobs at the other farm, and waiting for this grass to finally spread. Mostly, mostly AFK. Uh, but if we look, here we are, <laughs> and it's pretty much done. The grass has spread for the most part. There's a few little, uh, barren patches, but we have some animals. I see, how many cows? Two cows. One, two, three sheep, and one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four chickens. So, so far we have a decent amount. Uh, let's see if more spawn around here, but pretty much that's all you can do. Um, again, if you want to, simply straight above this source block, take out that piece of cobblestone. Straight above this middle block, though, put some water up there that you can control with the trap door. Open the trap door, let the water come down, and it will wash all of the mobs down and just build a simple platform for them to fall down to make a way for you to get down there and collect all their mobs so this is a super simple easy way to do this um don't leave the water running 24 7 if you do that um simply because you know that's not good they're not going to spawn if there's water everywhere um and if you want to bring some of these mobs to other parts of your island that chicken beat me uh here let me bone meal parts of this i just want to make it look uh, a little bit prettier that's why i brought bone meal but if we do this really fast and then if i grab some seeds let me see if i can do that i can rebone meal this i have so much bone meal um but if i grab some cheat seeds you know i can just go up this staircase have the chickens follow me and i can pretty much take them to any part of my island so i can do whatever i want i guess i'll uh breed some for now whatever but yeah that's pretty simple easy uh let me know if you guys liked hopefully this could help you guys out but yeah thank you guys for watching this is jay wisp and i will see you all in the next one